Hi. Hi. Welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. I'm going to try something different here. I'm shooting over my shoulder here. i got my camera up on a little hill here. I'm going to try to um, see if you can see how I can tie a couple knots here. I'm undoing a fast rope here. Trying to tie the knot so that you can see how I'm tying it through my eyes so you'll be looking at the same thing. So I'm going to tie my favorite knot right away first for you and I'll look at this later and see if it works. If it does, I'll pull it up. I'm going to tie a bowling knot here. Always keep your short end of your, your string off to your right. will help you a lot. Just take your rope, twist it clockwise, okay? Take your end piece, go through the hole, go around this rope stand here, go back up through the hole, grab both these pieces here, and pull it down snug. That's a perfect bowling knot. Now that's that's the best knot ever made. It's an old sailor's knot. You can use this on a rope and, and pull a car to town, and when you get done, all you gotta do is take this part right here, which is called the, the bar, give that a push, and it makes it loose enough you can untie the oops, untie the knot. Bowl knot's fa absolutely fantastic. Um, I use the bowl knot for everything. Again, same thing. Uh, your short piece off to the right. Turn clockwise. Go through the hole. Around the standing piece here. Back up through the hole. And pull this one here down, hold these other two tight, and then snug everything up. There you go. Now this can be used for a loop, you know, anything, anything you want it for. Um, absolutely fabulous. Best knot in the world. The bowl knot can be tied a dozen different ways, and we'll do some videos on that to show you that later. Um, how about a knot for holding, putting two ropes two ropes together. I'll use one end and the other end here. Take the rope, same thing, clockwise twist. Take your other rope, go across it diagonally like this, okay? Like that. Go underneath here, over here, under here, over here, and under here. A little slack here. And what you wind up with is a pretzel looking knot. That's a knot in a plat mode. Then all you would do is pull the two ends together. That knot would flip together. And that would stay together no matter what. Again, it has the bars. Push the bars. Open it up. Um, the Zeppelin bend knot. It's a very easy knot. Take a... You get with your piece over here. Tie underhand knot. Just like that. Just an easy underhand knot. Put it there. This is called the Put these two pieces, this is called the flower. Take your other piece across like this. Follow this, follow this rope through, through here. Bring it around. Underneath, underneath this rope, or over this rope, over this rope, and then back up through your hole here. Grab your two tag ends. the Zeppelin bin. Again, this, is, this was made to, to tie down the old Zeppelin ships. Very simple knot, but it's another knot that can't come apart and easy to untie. The good sign of a knot is easy to tie, hold strong, and easy to untie. Let's say you have a bad spot in your rope. You need to make a loop on it. Take your rope, go around your hand once, twice, 
take the, this back rope, cross it behind here, reach through, grab this, this loop here, and put the loop through the hole, pull it together, snug everything up. That's the alpine butterfly knot. Now if you had a bad spot right here,